I'm sorry if the title is a bit clickbaity, but we're going to talk about why I think overall the audio latency performance of the Poco X3 Pro is a downgrade from the Poco X3 NFC. Let's get into it. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to my latency test video for the Poco X2 Pro. Now, I've done the benchmarks and gaming test videos showing how fast the Snapdragon 860 chip is, but unfortunately, that's not the story for gaming audio latency. In this video, I'll do my PUBG latency test as usual. If you want to know how I count the latency, I'll put the explanation video below. And for the first time ever, I'll be including the internal speaker test as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack connection. Then we're going to see the Redmi AirDots S test tested in SBC, Alien Secret on standard Aptex, and finally, Soundpeed Sonic on Aptex Adaptive. You'll see the gaming mode in action too, if the earbuds has it. Anyway, we're going straight to the internal speaker and wired latency test now. And I want you to take a guess, how much latency will it have? Well, let's check out the results. Did it surprise you? Were you guessing for zero perfect latency? Well, unfortunately, even with the internal speakers or wire connection, that is not the case. I don't even count the display latency here, so only when the display changes, I started counting until the sound comes out. And here, we can see that the phone itself is around 120 to 130 milliseconds latency. Now, if you use Bluetooth, the wireless audio latency will only add more to that, as we can see on this test with the Redmi AirDots First off, we got a number of 500 milliseconds. This is with SBC codec and no gaming mode, basically the normal latency you should expect with any Bluetooth device you pair with the phone. That's not a good start. The audio lag is very noticeable and just letting you know, normally this number is around 300 milliseconds on iOS devices. The gaming mode makes it a bit better at 350 milliseconds, but if you didn't know yet, the Redmi AirDots S is the lowest latency earbuds I have ever seen because when tested my iPhone 10, it goes as low as 150 milliseconds. And that's very close to the internal speaker latency now, isn't it? You can check out the review yourself if you don't believe me, and actually it's not that impossible since the difference is the same as it was before, just minus the result by 200. Now, these numbers are similar to what we've seen with the QCYT11 on Poco X3 NFC, so it's clearly not caused by a slower processor. I just think we've hit the limit of the current Android 11 audio processing pipeline, or maybe PUBG Mobile isn't using a audio API. In any case, I'd love to see this improvement in the future, and if you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, because that way you won't miss any of my future tech videos. Thank you very much, and let's move on to the next earbuds, Alien Secret QCC010. So this is exactly where I am disappointed. The Snapdragon 860 dropped support for Aptex TWS Plus. As you can see, the Alien reverts back to standard Aptex instead. Manually changing codec in developer settings doesn't fix the issue. And why is it a downgrade, you might ask? Well, check this out for yourself. You can see that with the help of Aptex TWS, the latency drops from an alarming 600 milliseconds to around 400 milliseconds. It's still not low enough to play more latency sensitive games like PUBG, but that's a pretty sizable win in my book. I've made a video explaining why Aptex TWS is great because it brings better connectivity as well, but the fact that a new chip in 2021 dropping support for it 
is heartbreaking. Anyway, moving on to the final numbers, we're going to see Soundpeat Sonic tested with Aptex Adaptive and Gaming Mode, basically the best of the best technology out there. Will it be better than the rest of the codex? Let's see the results. So if you're wondering, I didn't modify anything in the developer settings this time around. I just pair the earbuds, fire up PUBG and record. And what you see here is pretty much similar to my experience when playing with these buds. No matter if you put gaming mode on or not, the latency is pretty noticeable. And both of them is worse than playing on AirDots S with gaming mode turned on. I'm not all that surprised anymore since I've done a couple Aptex adaptive latency tests in the past and the results were similar, but at least reach 300 millisecond, would you please? So what are the takeaways? Well, first things first, you lose Aptex CWS support, which is disappointing. And secondly, the phone itself has around 100 milliseconds latency, so everything else is just added on top of that. And lastly, if you really want to go through wireless, your best bet would be getting any earbuds with gaming mode that doesn't support Aptex codec. You can check out my channel playlist for the recommendations, but even then, you would still notice the latency because it's still around 300 milliseconds, so I still won't recommend it. So that wraps up my latency test for the Poco X3 Pro. I hope this video helped you out and I just want to say it's not all sunshine and roses with this phone, but I still won't complain because it's still really, really fast for only 300 bucks or less. But let me know what you think. Affiliate links are down in the description below if you want to support the channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth, I'll see you in the next one.